Elon Musk sure knows how to get the public talking about his products, for we have the latest innovation that Tesla hopes to propel to the norm very soon. Tesla hopes to release what is called full self-driving, an update that some drivers receive that will enable the vehicles to steer and accelerate without human hands and feet. Tesla hopes that thousands of cars will be able to drive themselves as soon as this year. Today, we'll be talking about if this is the right move or should we all just stick to old-fashioned driving? Is Tesla full self-driving, FSD, better than human driving? Tesla's Vision Like with any project that implies both groundbreaking and terrifying technology, it has been met with skepticism from the public. However, Tesla, however, wants to block out the noise and focus on refining their system before addressing the concerns of the public. Their vision remains clear. They want to be the first large fleet of vehicles that can function autonomously. And of course, just like their vision overall, they want this product to be available to all customers, most especially ordinary ones. Tesla wants its new FSD to be the standard mode of driving in the future. They're imagining a world in which even the simplest of people who make honest livings have a hold of an autonomous Tesla vehicle. And if we know anything about Elon Musk, it's that he will stop at nothing to make his vision come into fruition. Tesla's technology is ready. It's always been ready. The bigger question is whether or not the world is ready for this type of driving. It has huge implications to how society will live moving forward. It already has a global pandemic that will hopefully move on from very soon. But now, we have the potential aspect of self-driving cars. Is this really necessary? Is Elon Musk and Tesla merely just catering to their vanity? Or do they really have a valid point in how transportation should be done in the not-so-distant future? We'll talk about that later on. For now, let's take a look at how the beta tests for FSD have gone so far. Beta Tests and Reactions Back in October, Tesla released its FSD update to a select group of customers in hopes that they could sell the idea of FSD and at the same time get some much-needed feedback on something that most people are scared of. The software enables the autopilot's advanced driver assist features on local and non-way streets. It is still in beta and requires constant monitoring. As Tesla has warned themselves, it could do the wrong thing at the worst time. While Elon Musk lets customers beta test features that aren't ready for anyone's release is anyone's guess, and quite frankly, it's a huge risk on their part. Yes, their willingness maintains its market leader position in electronic and autonomous vehicle technology. But in the event that any of these tests go wrong and potentially life-threatening, Tesla will surely receive the most backlash it can receive. There are mixed reactions when it comes to the beta update. Some have called it scary, and we can't really blame them there. It is scary, but some have met the update with much excitement and enthusiasm. Tesla Raj posted a video showing his experience with FSD. The video shows the car driving down a residential street with no lane markers, visuals that look somewhat like training footage from an autonomous vehicle with transport orange boxes outlining parked cars and other vehicles and icons that present road signs. Blue dots show the direction of the vehicle and messages pop up to tell the driver what the car is going to do, such as stopping for traffic. The driver even stated that the turns on the vehicle felt human-like and one Tesla owner was able to use FSD to navigate through intersections and even a roundabout. It is important to note that the tests, when at speeds of 25 and 35 miles per hour, moderate speeds that have proven to be challenging for Tesla. Nevertheless, the sample data is just far too small, which has prompted Elon Musk to have an even wider release for the FSD update. Wide Release Tesla has stated that the initial FSD update was only released to a select group that consisted of careful and expert drivers. But by the end of the year, they plan to have an even wider scale of the FSD update that will be available to the more common, regular drivers that own a Tesla. What does this mean? The more Tesla owners could possibly be experimenting with the FSD feature on city streets. These features include lane changes, automatically handling traffic lights, roundabouts, and street turns. With assisted parking and highway driving assistance, the technology may be impressive, but it is far from ideal. One Tesla driver had to take control of the wheel when the car detected a one-way street as a two-way street and didn't pick the right angle to make a left turn. 
If this happened to one driver, what are the chances that this could happen to even more drivers if Tesla pushes through with their wide release of this beta update? This will create the possibility of many unthinkable accidents if the drivers out there don't exercise this with extra caution. Human driving. Obviously, you can say whatever you want about technology, it will continue to grow and sooner or later, the world will have to adapt as we all have learned. It's similar to how smartphones that are touchscreen have made those old Nokia phones obsolete. But the difference is, using a phone is not life-threatening. Cars, however, present that risk. When we all learned how to drive, they always taught us that safety is of the utmost importance. Handling a vehicle can possibly result to death. One wrong turn or a moment of unawareness is a risk to yourself and to the other drivers around you. Yes, this new Tesla technology is impressive, but the risks and dangers that it poses is far too great. It may try to eliminate human driving, but it's just far too dangerous and the technology is just too new that it will take years before it can even be considered as an alternative much less the standard for driving your car. Human driving is much safer than putting your vehicle in the hands of an automated AI. Verdict. Is FSD better than human driving? Well, if you're thinking about safety, then the answer should be obvious. The risks are just far too great to consider FSD better. What Tesla can do is assure the public that their FSD is fail safe. Once they have accurate data and made the necessary adjustments for them to fully claim that their FSD is just as safe or presents the same amount of risks that human driving has, that is definitely worth a shot. Elon Musk is a visionary. He has the best intentions for his products that will hopefully transcend humanity into a new millennium. But he needs to make sure that safety is prioritized when it comes to launching his new features. Would you be comfortable having your kid drive an FSD car, not fully knowing the worst things that could possibly happen? It may come sooner or later, but Tesla has a lot of answers to questions before FSD truly becomes the norm for driving your vehicles. What do you think about FSD? Drop a comment below letting us know what you think and how you feel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. Don't go anywhere just yet. If you find this video fun, wait till you see what our next two videos are. So, whatever you do, stay on our channel. Thank you for watching Gadget Surfer TV. We'll see you all in a short while.